Wolf. Right, Teleode champs and Wolf. Yes, Nvidia just dropped a 3000 series graphics, well, at least the high end ones, and we'll see what it means for laptops. What does it mean for laptops? Well, stuff all at the moment, actually. I don't think they'll be released in laptops this year. I would have thought they'd probably get announced at CES, but that's not happening anymore. But we actually learned quite a lot about these GPUs, and there are some salient points that I'd like to talk about that will affect laptops. Now, first of all, you can see the specs on the screen there. Based on Ampere architecture, and that's the correct way to pronounce it. It's not Ampere, it's Ampere. But yeah, you can see the specs there. The key points for me is, all right, so you've got all those things. I think they got a new NVENC in COVID. They said it's like seventh generation or something like that. So that's going to be good for streaming and recording and stuff like that. And you get that NVIDIA AI noise where you can block out the background noise. That's cool. But the salient points here are, RTX 3070 beats a 2080 Ti. Yes, Wolf, that is awesome. And then the RTX 3080 is much faster than the 2080 Ti. Now the 3090, I don't think that's coming in laptops, so maybe forget about that one. Uh, never say never, but the 2080 Ti never did, so let's not even talk about that. Which would be a bit of a shame because 10 gigabytes of video memory in 2020 Think about that. The next three years, is 10 gigabytes going to be enough? Already maxing video memory now with the flight simulator. So, yeah, it's unfortunate that the 3090 is the only one with, you know, a decent amount of RAM. I was hoping for 16 gigabytes. But anyway, let's just pretend it scales the same. So that could mean what for what, the same sort of parts, an RTX 3070 should be able to beat out all the current 2080s and even maybe some of the higher powered 2080s. A 3070 Max-Q might even compete with a 2080 200 water. Now, Bob of All Trades has done a good video on this, you know, comparing sort of the desktop sort of fire strike scores compared to laptops. And actually, Jared's just done a couple of videos, I think, comparing desktops to laptops sort of, you know, GPUs with the same name, like, you know, 2070 versus 2070. Check those videos out. It's fair to say there's a big difference between the laptops and the desktops, unless you're getting some sort of special laptop like the 70 next i just reviewed and you want to check that out because that thing has a 200 water in it and it's just off the charts so when would they come out in laptops well obviously it's going to be the high end first 3070 3080s and i don't expect to see them until next year this does get me excited for the lower end say for example xps 15 xps 17 that use rtx you know 2060s or laptops that use rtx 2060s and 1650s and stuff like that if the scaling is the same you know it could be we have an xps 15 with a 1650 ti replacement that's a 3000 series you know with 2060 power something like that that will be awesome just make sure you give us some video memory nvidia four gigabytes come on it's not enough these days. It won at least six, and I hope it has eight. Not holding me breath there, but I do think the 3060 probably will have eight gigabytes of video memory. Probably be the slower memory. And did you see they're using Micron memory? Always in the description. I always link you to the best RAM, Micron RAM, which is crucial RAM, by the way. It's the retail arm. That's the way to go. Or Samsung. Just forget the rest. But the big thing for me, other than they're much faster is HDMI 2.1 Wolf. What does that mean? Well, that means my 65 inch LG OLED display in my lounge room, which I've been gaming flight simulator on, it now turns that TV into a 4K 120Hz display because the current GPUs couldn't drive that display 4K 120. Now with HDMI 2.1, Yes, I've got a 4K 120Hz TV. That is great. Now, they better include this in laptops. We need HDMI 2.1. There were some sort of concerning things, though. It's based on Samsung 8 nanometer, which, whatever, that's fine. But they said the cooler can do 90 more watts, and it can cool things down 30 degrees cooler. That, to me, tells me that well, these things are going to be hot, and they're going to suck juice. I mean, I don't know why you'd be designing a cooler that can, you know, sustain 90 more watts and um, cool down 30 degrees cooler if you're not going to need it, if you know what I mean. You know, are they doing it just to be quieter? I don't think so. Now, of course, the TDP will be much lower in laptops, but maybe that reduces the performance compared to desktops even more. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. It'll all come out in the wash very soon. But anyway... 
I'm excited to see these in laptops. You know, probably next year. I don't think we're seeing it this year. I can't wait for the lower end GPUs. See what happens there. So anyway, catch you in the next one. Tally ho.